Hallo, wie geht's? Very good. I'm glad to know that you think I speak German. I don't. I suck at it. Mein Deutsch ist nicht gut. Ich spritze in dein Gesicht. Okay, let's go. Uh, New York, New Jersey. We're going to go Ubuntu 19.10. Uh, the best deal that you can get in Vulture is the New York, New Jersey, Ubuntu 19.10. Launch up under 10 gigs. Um, th this The 10 gig plan with the IPv4 is going to give you uh, pretty much, yeah, the same things. That the $1 difference a month is you get IPv4. Okay, fat bitch. There we go. Fat bitch is active now. We're looking for this. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Now I'm going to connect into fat bitch with root. Uh, right click to paste root. Oh, dude, what? Bitch, take the password. Force feed. There, force feed it. We're just going to do a, a quick updating of so we're gonna do an apt update and upgrade so we're uh we're updating like that kind of the update thing gives us our package list updates and then when we do an upgrade we're actually like yo okay let's for real make it official and upgrade the packages so let's um let's just open uh notepad plus cool so now all i've done is i've pasted their list and i'm just gonna remove everything that's got this we're just gonna take it out paste this in and see what we do Okay, so it was unable to find the SQ package, so let's just take it out. I mean, it can't be that important if I can't find it. So let's just um, file uploads <clears throat> are on allow URL. So <laughs> cool. Let's go ahead and save that exit out we're gonna do system ctl start apache 2 and then they want maria db enabled too oh <clears throat> very good fat bitch nice work very cool now create user my bb at localhost identified whoops by pass sauce Oh, got to add that part. Very cool. And you can see I am on the MyBB website. I'm just going to simply do a right click here. Copy the link address. We're on 1821. And you can see this was on 1815. So actually going to HTML also. Okay, W, get this guy. <clears throat> and then looks like we're just going to unzip this. It's just straight into the HTML folder copy the config.default to just straight config.php and do a hyphen. Yeah, very cool. Now we're gonna chmod this guy, bar www. Um, what I would do is, yeah, I, I would just call this like mybb.conf like they're saying. And then pretty much, yeah, it just uh, looks like for the most part, they do have this stuff set up. So just force forcefully push this down fat bitch <clears throat> we, we would obviously have to uh we'd have to own example.com for this to work so what we're actually going to switch this to is my bb dot ciphers dot pw and then there <clears throat> so you can see that's like that and then we're actually going to um we're just going to do HTML inside of here instead of my BB. There. So allow override from all, all of that stuff. Everything looks good. So yeah, let's, um, at this point, let's just kind of do what we did a, a bit earlier with restarting Apache 2. Okay, so at this point, we're looking pretty good. By the way, a little quick tip, if anybody is curious how you get your IP address fast, I like to actually just grep INET with a space. And then you're only going to have two IPs left over between this um, and this. Um, I I would believe that this would work on other <clears throat> other Linux systems, but then you could use the cut command, and then you would have two IPs left. Typically, uh, you know, depending on your system config, but then you could just split away um, between the inet space and the slash. And then you have a 127 IP probably or one other IP. Uh, that's that's kind of an awesome, simple way to get stuff taken care of. But I'm going to take this and I'm going to paste this in here, right? Okay, so we're just going to wget localhost. And then we should just be able to append this at the end. 
and just say my bb.ciphers.pw and now we should be able to cat index now we're gonna grep this out for ciphers.pw so there you go now you see the links and everything pointing and now we have just uh, basically enabled by the way this does work remotely too in, in case you're wondering uh, so if someone is v hosting like if they're using virtual host you can still um, you can still screw with them a bit by just applying whatever their domain <laughs> you know whatever their host name is so cloudflare has a, a listing of all their ips it's just cloudflare.com slash ips Okay, I was just about to start getting pissed off when I found this awesome guy, David. He posted about setting request headers using, uh, we're, we're using wget here, basically. So I, I realize you have to do it like this. What it looks like is this. Yep, there you go. And we we could output this stuff to a file or whatever, but yeah, you can, you can see like it's got the cookie the cookie domain and you know there's just there's different things in here so it definitely definitely a pretty cool uh, method but anyway um yeah going back to the whole process of like blocking this let, let's uh let's explore that real fast okay i am happy to know exactly how we're gonna go about this so we're gonna copy this down and then I mean, realistically, probably the absolute easiest way to do this would be to like edit this stuff out in an editor to just like bulk update all these like at the beginning of a line and at the end of a line. But honestly, there's not such a large amount that I'm too incredibly worried about automating this. So at this point, you can see that what I'm doing should get us through the day. So then I'm just going to copy this out and I'm going to throw this in and we've updated all those rules 22. So we're just going to do this. There you go. So we've allowed port 22. Uh, I'm just going to do uh, I'm just going to do an enable on this and saying yes. So firewall is active and enabled. So let's just do IP tables. Yeah, let's uh let's go ahead and try this thing again. Yeah, so it looks like the the default is to drop incoming traffic, but you will notice that currently I am no longer able as my level 1 trauma user on a remote system, I am no longer able to uh, fetch that IP address. Um it's it's timing out. But you will notice yet, if I go back here and I view the form, it's loading. So look at that. Now the, the form is loading. We're allowing 443 through, and we're, we're blocking the rest. Now, in addition, we could obviously go over here and do the same thing with our IPv6 list. I, I, would, I would say that that's probably not a bad idea, not, not a terrible idea to allow the uh, the Cloudflare IPv6 addresses also, but the uh, the allowing the IPv4 through, uh, especially on a server that doesn't uh, support IPv6, that's perfect. So keep in mind, you don't really need to enable or allow IPv6 through uh, for Cloudflare if your server doesn't even support IPv6. This would be more so if your server supports IPv IPv6 and that's what you want to use. So <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully this was all good information, helpful. And I really appreciate you taking the time to, to listen in and watch this to kind of see how a, a potential uh, like I, I don't I don't know what to call this. Like, I, I feel like it's information disclosure because people try to use Cloudflare and other load balancer CDNs or, or whatnot as um, like, I guess, obscurity. They, they try to obscure and hide behind these these walls and then. It's uh, it's a simple request with a, a forged host name away from from having your domain name or your website leak right out from underneath you. So, I mean, effectively, someone could have in the past, had I not just locked down this firewall, they could have scanned through all public IPv4 space and then been trying to pull out 
this or add an S or they could have just, yeah. So <laughs> hopefully that, uh, hopefully now that I've kind of like demoed this or, or showcased this and, and you can see, you could like pull out the cookie path. You can just, um, there, there's different things. There's definitely different markers that you can work on.